they deferred. So the Irish will get the ball first. C.J. Sanders took it back to the house, except there was a holding penalty when that happened to start the game last week. This week, that kickoff hits at the one, goes out of bounds. Or was it out of bounds or was it a touchback? It went on the opposite side of the pylon, so it's a touchback. At, at, next to the quarterback, he's going to take the handoff to start the game. And the man who was the Irish backup quarterback and shared the role with Dix against this 4-2-5 Duke defense. And Kaiser throwing sideline for St. Brown. That pass is broken up. This Duke defense has to make up for the lack of size up front by bringing pressure. The crosser is St. Brown. First down, much more midfield onto the Duke side of the field. From the 45, a first down pass for Kaiser across the middle and Smite, the tight end, has it. And holding on for reinforcements to what you said they needed to do, Doug, on this opening drive. Now they'll run it with Adams to the left. He'll gain two yards. Big safety targeting foul in the last game. Out for the first half of this one. Kaiser over the middle. St. Brown. Let's go. And we'll throw it. Well, the end zone, the coverage is good. It's out the back and into the drum section. He got Dukes lined up. He changes. The Blue Devils adjust to option. And the keeper. And Kaiser's in the end zone for his fifth rushing touchdown of the season. Right play at the right time. Justin Yoon adds the Irish extra point and the outstanding Duke return man in. Kicking into a slight wind. That's where they want to kick it. Now, what will Edwards do with it? Well covered by the Irish as he's brought down right around the 20-yard line late this summer. So Jones became the starter. Out of his hands to T.J. Ramming, who runs into traffic and only gains two yards. Third and eight for Jones. Notre Dame brings pressure. Jones going to go deep downfield. Had a man open, but just one step. The long snap is one of the important things. He gets that away, and a good kick away as well. Sending Sanders back to the 25. He made a man miss, and now C.J. Sanders accelerates. For comes in to replace him as Kaiser hands to Josh Adams, who runs to the right for three yards. Fenn, their backs are against the wall. Four receivers, and they'll swing it out to the back. Josh Adams, who has the first down. Great start for Kaiser and the Irish. Nine yards of play out of the gate. Adams hit after gaining about four yards. That hurt. They'll drop them, bring the pressure from the edge, and Kaiser's going deep. Got Stefferson, touchdown, Notre Dame. TD for KJ. Hewn adds the up to all tomorrow. Dan Hicks and Johnny Miller wrap up the Tour Championship on NBC. Sean Wilson comes back to get the kickoff now. Takes it over the 20. And a nice move in the open field. And look at him accelerate. Maybe a house call. Being chased is Wilson. He'll go the distance. Much needed touchdown for Duke. 96 yards. Plus. The kicking has been an issue for Duke. But A.J. Reed missed an extra point. Be full tilt. C.J. Sanders saw Duke take one back. See what he does from the nine. Sanders up the middle of the field. Bowl games each of the last three years. And now his defense will try to make its first stop of the day as Tarion Folstein for the head coach of the Reds. Second and five here. Keeper by Kaiser. And that defense stops. It's a gain of a yard the right direction. Third and four. Can they make a tackle on Torrey Hunter Jr.? They can. And you saw Ryan Smith back there ready for Tyler Newsom's punt. They got close. Knocked him down, but there's no flag. It's fielded by Smith, who comes up the sideline for the junior to get this kick off. He does. His own man bumps into him, thus no flag on Duke. His development as a quarterback. Sean Wilson is the running back. Wilson with a big kickoff return earlier to get Duke in this one. After the gain of four, Daniel Jones swings it out to Quay Chambers. Third catch for Chambers right by the sideline. Hard to believe. No sacks all season. That's why they're bringing pressure. Going deep for Ramming. This time they connect. Out of bounds at the 46-yard line. At the cornerback position, not the nickel. Fake the draw. Daniel Jones moves around the pocket. Finds his tight end. Daniel Helm. Completed. Quick toss. It's going to be hard to get a sack like you said, Doug, with uh, third and four. The Irish bringing a half dozen. The slant for Ramming. First down inside the 30. We're all getting playing time in the secondary now for Notre Dame. Another true freshman. You're right. Dante bought one more time to the slant. And again, afraid of his speed deep. 
In the red zone, first down, right up the middle, delayed Duncan in the house. And Duke an extra point from a tie game. Five-yard touchdown run by Michigan State last week. A.J. Reed makes the extra point, get more involved on the defensive side. He wants to know why the run fit was not there, and that untouched touchdown happened. Off in the hands of Chris Fink. He moves up the middle to the 35 yard line. Over there working with the defense as Kaiser takes over the 35. Will keep it this time on the zone read. Put his head down and gain nearly six yards. We're changing, but yeah, there's a lot of learning still to come. Moves the pocket on second and four. He's got that great arm. And he's got a first down and much more with Torrey. Hunter Jr. inside the Duke 35. Guys are having a terrific statistical opening quarter. Josh Adams runs for two yards. The yards. Kaiser's seven of nine. Back up top one more time. Out brought in by Stefferson. Lost the football. It stays in bounds and is recovered. What a job by Stefferson. He lost it. He came back to get it. Borders punches it out, and it is 26 McCarthy that should have fallen on this, but it slips through, and Stefferson hustles back. Notre Dame gets back on it. So it's first down for the Irish at, 21, at the 21, and Kaiser comes left for four yards. Darian Folston, the running back, he's got it coming from the left. That was red from the start. Sure, from different places. Third and nine, and we have movement. False start. Offense number 68. Five-yard penalty, third down. For Terry Mann to an injury, but the Blue Devils have found their way back. Here's the pressure. It's picked up as Kaiser flips it incomplete. Out of the Montgomery, Van Gorder hold. Oh, off the edge, almost getting there. That kicks wide right, and no good. Changing players on the defensive side of the ball thus far. There's a run by Daniel Jones to start this drive. Just not getting the job done. Gabe Jones all 10 on that run. First down to late. Duncan gain of five and a half, and they're moving the ball. Jones for 10, Duncan for five, and then to the air. And Jonathan Lloyd is a race. Drew Tranquil's out. Irish drop eight against the three-man rush. Jones fires for the first down to Ramming. Bounced off a Notre Dame tackle. And finally, Niles Morgan says enough of this. Two backs for Duke are good. Duncan and Wilson. It's now Wilson who had the kickoff return earlier in the backfield. And he has a run to the 37-yard line after he took that hit. Second and two. It is a first down run for Joseph Jones gives to a GB. We'll just get back over the line of scrimmage. Second and nine. Jonathan Lloyd eluded that tackle and is it within a couple of the first down. Just make a man miss and get going. Third and two, and that is going to be Tavon Coney. It's a long yard to get. His own read trying to work inside. Duncan got hit, and Niles Morgan may have kept him on the opposite side. Niles Morgan in the middle just steps up in, closing in quickly. I'll tell you, there was a crease there initially, but you're coming from such depth. Defense needed a stop. They get it. He's back in the game like he was for the first snap. He's going to throw it. He's looking back towards Kaiser. It was covered, and he's brought down the 13-yard line. It is Kaiser, and he fires to the wide side, showing that strong arm. It's caught, braced up. Third and 12. Kaiser rolls it, throws it. Can Hunter get there? No. Great open field play by Breon Borders. And the three and out. And Newsom back on to kick. With the win. Terrific kick. Pushing Smith back to the 11. Ryan Smith trying to pick up blockers. Able to shut it down at the 28-yard line. Three that he had in February. But Jones did so well early on in camp. He won this job. They've shown it here. Good run on the edge by Sean Wilson. You've seen it in the progress of those and the other quarterbacks that he's touched over the years. Catherine Tappen has more on the sideline. Times, but Cutcliffe told him I'm a lot nicer than Notre Dame's defense, Mike. Out of his hands, quick here. Tap down the sideline for Ramming. He dropped last week against Northwestern. You see, he kind of lets it into his body a little bit, too. 45 yards, fair caught at the 20-yard line. Was supposed to be a part of that Charlie Weiss staff. But did not get to start the season because of health issues. That's now last play in this play. Oh, Kaiser lost the snap. The ball is free. 
And Joe Giles Harris dove in there. Well, right away, Borders was running to the sideline saying Duke had the ball, so he thinks they have it. And they do. And Humphreys comes away with it for the Blue Devils. Well, Notre Dame's in a pistol formation. Which to come to South Bend as three touchdown underdogs and beat Notre Dame. They're back in it as Jones fires towards the end zone. Touchdown. Quay Chambers brings it in. Exceptions before this year as the extra point is added by A.J. Reed. Down shot to Quay Chambers who covers this kickoff with his Duke team up seven. It is a short kick. Fink comes up to get it at the 20. And he's brought down hard at the 27-yard line. Last hour or so. First down, Kaiser. Stefferson. Caught at the 44. Kevin Stefferson has a touchdown earlier, brought down to the 48 yard line. It's a benefit to take the 144 to the house in the first quarter. They're going to honor that the rest of the way. Adams tries to push the pile. Irish love this personnel group. One running back, one tight end, and three receivers for Kaiser. Over the top, incomplete. Three man rush. Send eight back. Kaiser surveys, finds the middle, and Miles Boykin for the first down. Or small downfield. That opened up nicely. After Boykin's first Notre Dame grab, a run up the middle with Adams. Notre Dame, quick tempo, trying to get some momentum here, but a big hit on C.J. Sanders, third and short. Notre Dame keeps tight formation and pounds forward with Adams. Fultz in the back. Atari left side for about three yards today. The sophomore running back and on the read. He takes it from Kaiser and turns up field to the end zone and in. Dexter Williams with a touchdown. Runs it in for six. Movement up front as Yoon adds the extra point. Points they 21 here against the Irish. But Notre Dame responds to tie the game. Kickoff return for Wilson. Brought one back to the house earlier. And he's going to be taken to the sideline by Yoon, the kicker. Athletic guys are going to make some big plays. First down run up the middle. Get it in and bring your own energy. Daniel Jones, first look covered. He rolls it. I'm going to tuck it. Throw it. Try to run through on Wallen. Look at that. Six foot five. And face mask to face mask and kept going. The edge goes Duncan. Maybe get back to the line of scrimmage. I don't know. Just sure of himself yes. with the football. There it is. Exactly what you were just talking about, Doug. They're ready to roll. 44. Duncan breaks another missed Notre Dame tackle. And Duncan to the 32-yard line. Did in. Sean Wilson, the fake. Daniel Jones up top. Look at end zone. Touchdown. Anthony Nash. Later. Frustration throughout the program here. Extra point added the road at a place where it would be so special for them to get a win and what a comeback. And 28 of the last 35 points. Short kick. Chris Fink gets it again. Fink across the 30. Gets it to the 35-yard line. From the 35, pressure's picked up. Kaiser over the top. Just in and out of the hands of Equinemius. Down his throw to touchdown. But then a key fumble that gave Duke great field position led to one of their scores. That pass incomplete. Oh. Third and ten, Kaiser surveys, and the pass is brought in. Nice catch by Torrey Hunter Jr. Ball and making it a tough completion down the field. Colin McGovern limped off the field behind the play. Kaiser in trouble, and he's brought down, sacked by A.J. Wolf. Pressure is coming, and Kaiser had it picked up nicely, but throws incomplete. It was high and coming over the top. Kaiser throws. It's incomplete. Trying to get Hunter coming across. So Notre Dame will kick it away in the final 40 seconds of this half. Duke will just let it go. It's a touchback. It got in. It just did. <laughs> Run up the middle for about six, seven yards. He never had a body part down. He was laying on his offensive lineman. 28-21. Both teams exit through the North Tunnel. Duke will head in there first to get the ball here in the second half. So Justin Yoon able to kick it away. A little bit of help from the wind. And we'll take it back to Sean Wilson from the one. 
Wilson cuts it up field. It was well covered. He's down at the 20-yard line. In fact, of what his frustrations were all week, and they were borne out in the first half. Run for a yard as Isaac Rochelle. Second to nine for Daniel Jones, the redshirt freshman quarterback, completes it to Anthony Nash. Come to the screen on third and three. And the slant in front of Vaughn is caught for the first down by the six foot five Nash. Those are the experienced guys. There are a lot of freshmen and young players on the field for this Notre Dame defense, and they're chasing TJ Ramming right now. The sixth year senior is in the lineup. Keeper for the quarterback, Jones, not tackled. They missed the play. First down gain of five. This time the give is going to be a loss of a couple of yards. Elliott, Avery, Sebastian here. Dante Vaughn, the freshman on the corner. Inexperienced back there, but the pass is broken up and incomplete to avoid a fake as Austin Parker tries to pin the Irish inside the 10. It'll bounce back and be down at the 17-yard line. Dexter Williams in to start this second half of the backfield for the Irish. Williams using the speed to get to the edge in a gain of eight. Kaiser had a first half going, a good first half, then fumbled a shotgun snap that led to a new touchdown. Kaiser saw that safety come down, adjusted the protection up front, throws over the top, complete for the first down. Equinemy is St. Brown into due territory, lost the football. It was pulled out by Brian Fields, and the Blue Devils have the second turnover of the game. Fields keeps digging at it, and this is how Duke is staying in the game, actually leading the game and making plays. One corner caused it. So some of that youth coming into play here for Notre Dame as she keeps searching with the run up the middle for four yards. There's just not an attitude or a vibe about the defense that they're going to get nasty with an offense. Trying to pull a big victory for their program here this afternoon. Jones finds Nash. Nash is thrown down. Cole Luke during that last break drew Tranquil, the safety being looked at at his leg. So he's off the field for the start of this drive. Irish bringing five. Jones can't get away. Brought down by Niles Morgan. And there's the first sack of the Notre Dame season. He's in to become the last FBS team to get a sack this year. We have a flag thrown. False start. Number 82. Offense. Five-yard penalty. Do the rule book at times, but not Riley. Fine ACC official. <laughs> Fair caught at the 16-yard line. Notre Dame on NBC team watching the Irish trying to dig out of a seven-point hole. Kaiser eludes one blitz, passes incomplete as he flipped it forward to that Manchester, Connecticut. Ooh, highly decorated recruit took that. Now Kaiser takes off. He saw the middle of the field open on the quarterback draw to the 40-yard line. Inside linebacker's been in there. He was not. Kaiser, late pressure comes. It's C.J. Sanders down the sideline. Sanders. Well, you get the ball in his hands. Uh, first and ten, Josh Adams to the left, into the boundary. Good blocking by Boykin, the receiver. Gain of 15. On first and ten, on the zone read, Adams. Gain six to the nine-yard line. First down, nine for the touchdown. Duke brings pressure. Adams tries to turn the corner, and he does! And Justin Yoon ties this one at 28 apiece. In South Bend, student section full. They're trying to support their fellow students, get to 500 on the season. Sean Wilson brought down to the 15-yard line. Had receivers get involved in blocking. First down, Jones throws behind his intended receiver, the tight end Daniel Helm. The line doesn't miss a beat. Last year, it was a strength of this team. Quick hitter from the 16 for Wilson. Sean Wilson with the first down and more. Through the Irish secondary to the 39-yard line. Will back in after missing the last series. In the 39, Jones hit as he throws. It's over the middle and complete to Quay Chambers. Personal foul, roughing the passer. Defense number 90. 15-yard penalty will be added to the end of the run. Automatic first down. Line of scrimmage. Hits the gap. Gets through. A little bump, but he's up high. Helmet to helmet. Up to high. And Brian Kelly's frustrated. That's one of his senior captains. We talked about all the inexperience. He can't afford to have him make those types of plays by Wisconsin in East Lansing. Wilson the gain of just a yard. Pressure trying to help pick it up. 
Third and four. Duncan does pick up the pressure. And Jones is throwing towards the end zone. And it is intercepted by Dante Vaughn. There's nowhere to put this football to the outside. And he finds the ball. He turns and finds it. Memphis to come up with a big play. First down for Kaiser from the 20. And it is complete. Equinemius St. Brown gains 25. Look, see what's the best answer for this Duke defense. Gets it out of his hands quickly. And that pass is secured. But we know he's going to catch it in his hands because he's had a lot of practice doing that. It's kept here by Kaiser, who pumps, runs, has the first down at the Duke 43. He's going to Stanford. Another one is in high school. Caught 303 balls a day. That ball is dropped by Adams, and he somehow gets back on it. Oh, a bunch of pressure. Kaiser stands in, underthrown and nearly intercepted. The man who gets a, all the interceptions that come near him. He's in a, the key to this is he was in a great position to begin with. <laughs> man, you talk and, about lucky. All these exotic pressures coming up. Kaiser over the top and incomplete. That was a dangerous throw. Dangerous throw there. Read his own blitz. Thought a receiver was wide open going up the seam, and there was a safety deep. Good job by Newsom to pin Duke deep. Way the fear. In the 14-yard line, this Duke offense has stagnated a bit in the third for time. So there are some good wins along the way. This is a program that has rebuilt and has done it impressively. Quay Chambers on the sideline has a touchdown earlier. You know how to move the football against this Notre Dame defense. First down, Daniel Jones taking a shot downfield and it's out of bounds. Expectation in youth, the interception of the two. Jalei Duncan, good job to make the first man miss. Duncan accelerates midfield and beyond for Duncan. They don't bring him down to the 41-yard line. Duke has run for 168 yards here today. No place to go that time. The numbers you need to build success. One of those is Sean Wilson, who comes within a yard of... A third and one run will get the necessary yardage for the first down. In just his fourth start, Daniel Jones doing that. Fake the handoff, throws middle incomplete, and buzzing down was Avery Sebastian. Second and ten for Jones. Behind and in. Third and ten. Seven Notre Dame defenders coming. The pass is complete, and a yard short of the first down. Jalei Duncan's the back. Fourth and one, Duncan's got it, and for the second time, Notre Dame's come up with a fourth and one stop today. Bryant lowers the pads and gains five yards. Sub. And the sub included the running back, Tarian Fulston. Good job to avoid DeAndre Singleton's tackle and gain four. So Adams and Fulston back there. Fulston blocks, Adams gets the first down to the 32-yard line. Down a little bit, 18 to 29, but he has thrown for 300 yards in this one. For Kaiser, gets it to C.J. Sanders, has some space in the block. Sanders accelerates across midfield, chased across the field by Ben Humphreys. Turned by Duke, the reason it's a tie game. Kaiser decides to keep. Ben Humphreys the tackle. That decision at the mesh point. Going with good tempo, Kaiser on the edge of the ton of room inside the 20. Brought down at the 14-yard line. Remains the running back. A little confusion there. Williams on the edge. A lot of white shirts for Duke. Gain is two, Doug. Field. Kaiser's looking towards St. Brown on the wide side. He's got it for the touchdown. Notre Dame leads with Equinemius. St. Brown in the end zone. The plays they had not shown to that point. Yoon adds the extra point. And Notre Dame to Duke, but they've come back to tie it. Now take the lead with that touchdown. 35-28. And Duke will start from their own 25. In the Texas game, one touchdown against Michigan State and gets one here. TJ Ramming. Turning it over on downs. The Duke scoring or drives, I should say, for the second half. No scoring drives. Inside of seven minutes, it was kept by the quarterback who finds Anthony Nash down the sideline. Nash is in bounds, and we're on the doorstep of a tie game. For Duke to tie the game. They do at 35. Game five each way. What a fourth start in the career of Jones. 272 yards, three touchdowns here in South Bend.
Kickoff return, C.J. Sanders not going to get to the 15-yard line. Pulled down, sacks to the safety. His team jumped out to a 14-0 lead. Now in a fight with 6.40 left and nowhere to go for Dexter Williams. But uh, his son, A.J., made quite a play there. Second and 13. Kaiser, nowhere to go. Tries to elude the rush. And he's brought down. Back inside the three by Marquise Price. And 20. They're going to lay back. They're going to bring pressure. Kaiser from his own end zone just launches it. And it's intercepted. Would have had a punt anyway, so not a huge impact. But DeAndre Singleton. Delayed Duncan is the back. He tries to take the lead. Duncan up the middle. Gets away from one tackle. He's brought down by the freshman, Julian Love. In time, the defense out there trying to find a way to stop this Duke offense. Duncan over 100 yards now of this Duke program. Third and two. Jones throws complete for the first down. From the 30 in a tie game going that way. The big body receiver match made a man miss. Almost got down the sideline again. Stewed the opportunity to go for a field goal from 36 yards on the last or two drives ago, I should say. Second and seven with Duncan. Got out of a tackle. Duncan still going. Got the first down to the six-yard line. And Daniel Jones, the quarterback, gives it to him, running inside to the three-yard line. They're running back for Duke. He's got it. Duncan inside. The Irish defense would not open the door. It'll be third and goal. Goal from the three in a tie game. It is kept by Jones at the one, spinning, grinding. He's stopped short of the goal line. His forward progress is at the one-yard line. Again, that timeout that Notre Dame had to use where well, they had 12 men on the field for his first career field goal to give Duke the lead at Notre Dame. He got it, and the Blue Devils lead by three. Here is the kickoff. What will be the field position? Great hang time on this kick, too. Best of the day. Sanders, not much room, but he made a couple of men miss. Gets out to the 25-yard line. So Deshaun Kaiser pull it off. Pressure on first down. Kaiser fires wide side. It's complete. Held on to as pressure again by Duke. Kaiser rolled away from it. Throws. It is incomplete. Try to get it to Hunter. St. Brown in short motion. Kaiser surveys. Throws it up over St. Brown. Incomplete. Try to put touch on it. The goal difference here. Third and ten. Here comes the pressure. Kaiser flushed. Escapes. Fires caught, but tackled short of the first down is Adams. The clock will continue to run inside a minute. Must make on fourth down. Everybody lined up. Notre Dame's got to have it here or Duke will win. Kaiser throws. Incomplete. Incomplete. And the Duke Blue Devils, a three-touchdown underdog, will come into South Bend and stun the Irish. They put a whole bunch of money into the facility, and David Cutcliffe, that staff, like I said, has followed him a couple of different places. He brought the whole band back together, and Daniel Jones is going to want to get that ball from the official and keep it. And then he'll go someplace on that beautiful campus in Durham. The Duke Blue Devils, 38. The Notre Dame Fighting Irish, 35.